this is the Canvas Pro 13, and the story about how an automotive CG artist ended up with a pen display on his desk. So when Huon first reached out, I was a little bit skeptical. I had never heard about other CG automotive artists who used a pen tablet for their work. I knew, of course, for Photoshop, for post-processing work or something like that, it might be useful. But as I'm mainly doing 3D work, I didn't think the tablet was for me. But they insisted, so I tried it out. And turns out that this display ended up changing my workflows in a way that I didn't expect. So when you open up the box, you'll find all the things you need to get started. The tablet comes with a stand that supports multiple angles, a nice glove to keep you from dirting up the screen when working, and lastly, a pen which is lightweight and nice to hold. The pen features three buttons, so you can easily map this to your left, right and middle click. There's also a little stand for the pen, which makes it easy to switch to the traditional mouse if you need to do that for a certain task. The first time I got it set up and working, I couldn't help to feel a little bit excited. I have worked with Wacoms before, but only used the Wacom for about 2% of my work. Most of the time it was just taking up space in the corner of my desk. But you will immediately notice the difference when working with a pen display. Because it's an extension of your desktop rather than just an input device. Inside my 3D tool of choice, Blender, the pen works flawlessly. You can navigate the 3D view, jump around node trees and use all the features you're used to with a traditional PC mouse. What I like to do was to drop my render view on my big monitor and then have the pen display as my working monitor. That way I could get a very nice big preview and still have space to modify my scene on the pen display. Also, it makes it really fun writing grease pencil notes to yourself about stuff you have to remember because you suddenly have pressure sensitivity and all that cool stuff inside Blender. What I did not expect, however, was that the pen display turned out to be great for doing comp work. I spent a lot of time in After Effects messing with masks and effects, and doing this with a pen instead of a mouse is so much more accurate. In the Huon software you can customize your tablet and set up one of the keys to switch the active display, which means it makes it possible to control all my four screens using the pen display. And of course, as everybody would expect, this pen display shines when it comes to Photoshop. Going back to using a traditional mouse after having used a pen in Photoshop is like trying to drive a car using the arrow keys. Another great surprise was that the tablet can run with just one USB-C connection. That means you can plug it directly into your laptop and the power display and the pen action goes directly through one USB-C connection. So it's perfect for any dual monitor setup solution for a laptop user who is spending a long time on the go. At this point I've been working with the tablet for around three weeks and I've really enjoyed the experience. I did run into a few technical things and just small limitations that were sort of limiting my workflow a little bit. And it's super sad because I can really see the potential in working with the tablet. For instance, I found that Cinema 4D was not very well supported, so if that's your main tool, I would suggest to stick traditional PC mouse. I also found that a sad compromise I had to make was to reduce the resolution of the otherwise beautiful screen that's inside the pen display, simply because UI elements became too small. Using the zoom feature didn't really work so well, as it started to mess up other things on my system. So my verdict would be, it's a product that has greatly improved my workflow, but it does not replace the traditional mouse. In other words, it's excellent for many tasks and not in the way doing the rest of the tasks where I circle back to my good old trusted mouse. 